Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica, I'm doing your 2020 forecast. This will be for Scorpio, someone writing Venus signs. Now as always, these are general, and especially since we're looking at a year ahead, really keep an open mind, okay? Take what resonates, the way it resonates. Um, watch all your signs, okay? Get as much information as you can. Um, I am running a 2020 special, so if you're interested in that, check that out in the description box below. And then with forecasts, what I always say is just come back to the video, kind of watch it at the end of the month, look back, see how the energy has transpired for you, and then watch it again. And then, sorry, and then look at the following month, the month ahead, and just give you a heads up about the energies that may come in. Now, that is especially the case with private forecasts. That's what I always say, and if you've had a reading with me, you know that. Um, but it might be an interesting exercise to do with the readings here on YouTube, especially if you resonate very strongly with one of them, okay? Or several. Um, and we're just going to do the first part that I would do in a, a, a forecast for a private reading, okay? I'm not going to use all the decks that I usually do um, because, again, it's for so many people. Even if we do try to clarify, it's still not going to make sense to a lot, you know, to like most people watching, you know, so I'm just going to describe the energies coming through and then try to um, put together the scenarios I see, but then explain how they may transpire um, in other ways as well, okay? So what is coming up for Scorpio in 2020? Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords. Let's see if it pops up again. You might be anxious over something now watching the video. Or you may be having trouble sleeping. We'll see if it pops up again. Okay. So, January, February, March, April, May, Nine of Swords. June, Judgment. I've seen the Judgment in a bunch of videos so far. July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay. We have an interesting sprite here. What I want to say is be careful who or what you trust. Okay. Uh, Libra just had a bit of a heads up type reading and I feel there's an element of that in your reading as well so at the bottom of the deck we have the page of swords now the page of swords what I hear with this right away is be inquisitive ask questions even if it annoys people ask questions until you're satisfied with how the information makes sense okay um be mindful of what you get involved with, especially if there's any drama or gossip. Try to steer clear from it because it'll land you in a lot of hot water, even if you, necessarily, you didn't necessarily do anything, okay? Um, for those of you, this is a time for study, exams, tests, a lot of writing, a lot of reading, and potentially a lot of uh, talking. Uh, whether this is public speaking or you're doing videos or you're, you know, putting together how-to um, videos or, or files or stuff like that, okay? Interesting. An air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, might be causing you some trouble if you allow them to. So again, be careful who you trust. January, we have the Four of Cups. Now with the Four of Cups, the way I'm feeling this for you, Scorpio, is you're struggling to get back into routine. You're struggling to get back into like the normal, okay? Maybe you've traveled a lot for the holidays. Maybe you were away from work or maybe there was nothing happening at work and it really threw you off. Um, the Four of Cups in January is you coming back to your routines. For those of you, um, I'm seeing this as you looking at 
what you're doing, what you're eating, what you're drinking, which is normal. A lot of us do this in January. I didn't quite get it for other signs, but for you, I do. So a strong focus on health and well-being. And with the Four of Cups, you're looking at, you know, is this healthy for me? Does it make me happy? Not necessarily comparing yourself to others or doing what others say you should or shouldn't, but you're just reflecting on how you feel within yourself with this particular food or this particular drink or this particular lifestyle okay and you're making some changes there something's not making you happy or you're uh, for those of you you're addressing a health issue that has to do with feeling tired all the time or a drinking problem and this could be you or this could be someone close to you okay In February, we have the Magician. So with the Magician, this is that new beginning. So what you're thinking of and planning in January, you're taking action with it in February. Um, for others of you, this is negotiations. So having an important conversation with your boss, this can be about, you know, we've got a project coming up that we think you'd be great for, are you interested? Someone's presenting something to you and then you're supposed to say yes or no. Uh, or you're supposed to put, you know, your two cents in, but it's definitely an offer to start something with the magician. This is, it can represent the energy of Gemini. And with the magician, even though I don't necessarily read reversals, I do pick up on the energy. So if, if the magician is actually coming up uh, in its shadow aspect, I would pick up on that, regardless of the fact that it's upright or not. And what I want to say is with the magician, for some of you, not for all of you, there is this person that you know, not that well, so it's not a close friend or anything, and I'm not picking that up anyway, but someone you either work with or someone you see every now and again, and they may be an air sign. If they're not an air sign, they're very good with their words. They're very convincing. They talk a lot. They might use words that not everyone understands, or they overwhelm you. You know, and they convince people to do things before they wake up and realize what they're doing. I'm seeing this person come in in February, presenting something to you like the Holy Grail. Page of Swords, double check, get your facts straight. Okay, question this. The more you question it, the more it falls apart if it's not solid. Okay, so just a little bit of heads up. March, we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is usually, you know, looking towards the past. Now, this could be nostalgia. And it's not to say this is the energy for the entire month. This could be what you need help with, what you need advice on, what you need a heads up for. Um, it could be the energy of a day. It could be the energy of a month. Okay, so just keep an open mind about that. But it can be nostalgia. What I'm seeing is... Something that was presented to you and you said no to in February, you're looking back at it in March. Okay? Or it keeps coming back. Are you sure? Are you really sure? But look at this, but you didn't see this. Okay? So something like that. I Just be mindful, okay? I'm not saying that you're going to get, you know, scammed or whatever in 2020, but the, the energy is there. There's an iffy energy here. And that's where you're getting a heads up to check your facts, to double check everything, okay? There's this one person, they think they can get away with it, so that's why they won't let you go. Now, for others of you, the Six of Cups can talk about um, this Four of Cups that you start off the year with, you know, where you're not completely happy, you're not completely satisfied, you choose to change it, it's trying to come back around. So it could be a person, it could be a habit, anything like that. So that's what you're dealing with in the month of March. In April, we have the hangman. The hangman sees you take time to figure something out, taking time to learn more about a situation. Um, this is also the energy of sacrifice. So once again, I feel that you are um, receiving confirmation that you've done the right thing to cut out what or who you've cut out in the beginning of the year, okay? Because this is also the energy of sacrifice. For those of you, um, if you're doubting a new path that you've chosen around March time, April 
gives you the conviction, the confirmation that you were looking for, that actually, no, you are on the right path. It may be a bit of a lonely path at this time because you're on your own and you're focused on yourself, um, but it is what is best for you at this time, okay? The hangman in April is also talking about um, a time of planning, research, study. It may be that something is offered to you and you say, give me some time to look into it, and that's what you're doing in April. I feel that you have a choice to make, okay? Something is presented to you and you have a choice to make and you're thinking about it and you feel like it's an important decision that entails you sacrificing something and that could be time, energy, effort, money. So you feel like you need a lot of time to think about it. And that's what April is about. In May, you have the Nine of Swords. You have to give someone a decision by June time. May, you're anxious. The more you think about it, the more complicated it gets. The more you think about it, the more confused you are. Uh, the more you ask people for advice, the more they confuse you. Everyone's telling you a different story. Everyone's telling you different things that you should do, shouldn't do. It's a very confusing time. It may keep you up at night because, again, this is something you view as a very big decision. Okay? So what I would say with the Nine of Swords is you can anticipate and avoid this by just sticking to what you know, asking for the facts, not people's opinions, just do like a proper, rational, cool, you know, process of decision where you're doing pros and cons, you're doing possible, possible outcomes, you're doing possible scenarios and plans A's and B's and C's, okay, and you're getting as many like facts as possible before you make your decision, okay? And that's how you can avoid the Nine of Swords energy and keep things simple, clear, okay? In June, we have decision time with the judgment. And this could be vice versa, okay? If you're waiting for someone else to make this decision, they're going through this, especially if they're air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hmm. June is it's decision time. Let me get a sip of coffee. Now, for better or for worse, this is the best decision that you can come up with at this time. Okay? Or vice versa. Let's carry on with this scenario. June, decision time. July, you're on top of the world. This is great. You're just getting started with this. A lot of promises, a lot of potential. You may be traveling. You may be talking to a lot of different people. August, something's not right. With the Seven of Swords, there might be theft, there might be fraud, a lot of um, underhanded type activities. September, you realize your bank account is empty with the Five of Coins. You realize this has affected your reputation, your earning potential, your status, your stability. October, you have to start over with the Fool starting from scratch, okay? So if this is a situation where there's fraud or theft, someone's taking you for everything you've got, and that's why you're receiving a heads up to get the facts, to talk to an expert to avoid this, okay? The Nine of Cups in November says that something's going your way. You might catch this person. If you're suing this person, this is a, a victory. Okay, you might be getting a settlement or this could be a payout from your insurance if that's the situation. And then December with the emperor, this is a final decision. This is a legal decision. Okay, if you're taking this person to court or whatever, this is that legal win. So it kind of works out in the end, but you can avoid having to go through the situation altogether and avoid this massive stress and anxiety and loss, okay? So that's for some of you. Don't panic, it's not for everyone. That's for some of you who are dealing with the situation or who might be headed this way, rather. And it's like the heads up so that you know what to look for, okay? Now, let's see what other scenarios we can see here.
if this is in a love sense, be mindful of someone trying to come back from your past that you're still hung up on. They're telling you they're still hung up on you. You miss them greatly or they are telling you they miss you. It's potentially an on-again, off-again relationship. You make the call to give it another chance. Everything's lovely for a month or so. But then they still... They take advantage of you in one way or another. This is bet betrayal. And they, they take something for, from you. They actually could take your money or something from your house. Or this is just depleting you emotionally. Where you put your hopes in them again. You got your hopes up again. And then you find yourself feeling like everything's lost and everything's gone after they do what they do. And after you recover, you start off fresh. You decide to be on your own for a while because that's what makes you happy. You can trust yourself. And then with the emperor, this is either you being on your own, calling all the shots, being a little bit guarded, definitely raising your standards, not settling. Or this could be an Aries individual coming into your life around December, as soon as you complete this cycle with this on again, off again person. Okay. Because for some of you, is if this is about money, there's a way around it. Okay. There's a way for you not to have to go through it. And that's the first scenario. That's where you get your heads up, talk to an expert, ensure everything, double check everything. Don't take people at, at their word. Okay. If something's too good to be true, they, it seems too good to be true. It is. Okay. That's our energy. I feel that if it's linked to your emotional life, so with a friend, with a sibling, or a romantic interest, I feel that you have to get, it's a little bit twisted, but you have to go through this one last time in order for you to feel free from their grip. So if it's someone that you cannot seem to get over, you're stuck on them no matter what you do. They, it seems like they have a hold on you. Like you can't say no to them. It's that, it's that kind of energy, okay? You might have to go through this cycle one last time for you to see the truth, to see your worth, to see, you know, that you deserve better, you deserve more to see why you had to be with this person in the first place, what they taught you about you, to get your heart broken one last time. Because you already, you know there's a possibility. When you say, yes, let's try again, you know there's a possibility that they're going to mess up again. Because it's just what they do. So in your heart, you kind of already know. So you're trying to give it the benefit of the doubt, but you already know how it's going to turn out. So you're almost, it's almost like you're, you're prepared to have your heart broken again. And the five of coins is like the disappointment, you know, that it just didn't work out, that this person hasn't changed. Because then with the fool, it's like a burden is lifted off your shoulders. It's like, I'm free. This person has no hold on me anymore. If they come back to me, I'm not interested. I'm genuinely free from them. Okay. Nine of cups, you come back to yourself. This is happiness, fulfillment within yourself. Feel like you have everything you possibly want within yourself. Okay. And that's when you have the stability and that's when you have a proper potential partner come into your life okay and if you're not dealing with the person from your past the way this could apply is if you find yourself in the same situation so different different person same situation same thing okay it's still part of a karmic cycle it's still part of a karmic lesson and it looks like you have to go through it one last time to free yourself from it. And as soon as you do, you get like a proper partner come through, okay? Be careful who you trust with your money. I am seeing success for you when it comes to career. And the only way you could lose something is by trusting the wrong people. 
okay? Because other than that, it's a, it's a fantastic year for making money, for establishing your position, your status, becoming the boss, okay? Calling the shots. You just have to be careful who you trust. So I hope this helps. I hope it gives you a heads up you can use. Um, if this made absolutely no sense to you, watch your other signs, okay? But I'm looking forward to your thoughts. Have a fantastic year ahead. Make the most of this. Use it to your advantage. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.